Now here we are at the train station, ready for another adventure. So where does our adventure take us this time? Well today, I would say this evening, we're off to London, not to go and visit London, no, we're off to London to go and jump on a Flix bus to go to Newquay in Cornwall. How long is that going to take you ask? Well, that's going to be about a seven and a half hour journey. So we're traveling a lot lighter today. Uh, we don't have the massive bags like before. Instead, we've got these two bad boys. So it should be a bit more manageable. Um, now in terms of Flixbus, this is what I want to talk about. So Flixbus is well known for being a difficult company to travel with. They, uh, they regularly cancel their coaches at the last minute. And worse still, they actually will cancel some of their services midway through a stop. So you'd be driving in the middle of nowhere and it's like, everyone get off, we're stopping. I've heard that's happened before as well. So why are we putting our faith in such a terrible service? Well, we like to give everyone a chance. So <laughs> obviously you can read reviews and someone's had a bad experience, but Flixbus hasn't been around for very long and we're willing to give them a shot. Now obviously if this doesn't go well, we're stranded in Cornwall, which is quite a while from where we live. But yeah, if you read the reviews for Flixbus, you will see just how negative people think of it. In fact, I'll put a few of them on the screen for you now. So yeah. It's going to be an interesting journey, we're hoping it goes well, but if it goes well then it's 50 quid or roughly thereabouts, I'll put how much it actually cost on the screen shortly, for a journey to Cornwall, which compared to trains is actually quite cheap, so wish us luck. However, there's another layer of complexity to this, and that is that today there's a rail strike on, a national rail strike. The 100th this year, it seems, because uh, every time we go and get a train anywhere, there's always a rail strike. So the bus that we're taking, sorry, the train that we're taking is at uh, like Midnight. 10 minutes, yeah. So it's about 8 p.m., it's about eight. quarter to nine currently. Um, that's the sort of time we'll be on the train. And um, we're gonna get to London for around about 10-ish, and then we've got to wait around for two hours and then we got the Flixbus. So not only do we have a situation here where Flixbus might let us down, but we also are in the middle of a rail strike. And this is the last train as well. Like usually the last train to London finishes at like 12 yeah. midnight. But yeah, today it's the last train is at eight. It's absolutely chock a block. These are how busy the carriages are. We're in carriage G. All right, we're here. So this is it now. If our Flixbus gets canceled, then we are well and truly stranded because this is the last train out of London. No more trains. No more trains. Which channel Made it to the train station and as you can see my hair's down because it's very humid and now it's a 10 hour wait. So I'm particularly looking forward to that. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's my first time here. Let's have a closer look around. So we're here, got a seat, took a bit more than we expected to find one because it's very, very busy. And look at this. Absolutely heaving today. So yeah, we're uh, just gonna stay parked here now for the next two hours. We're at gate three, I believe. Yeah, yeah. gate three. So just a waiting game now, I think. And then hopefully got an off bus soon. Well, mate, how's it going? Is this going to a uh, new key? Yes, it is. Quality. Cheers, mate. journey I think in total I've had about, about an hour and a half sleep 
Um, Tammy's probably had a little bit more than that, but not much more. Um, so yeah, I think uh, it was not as easy. Well, I'd say as we expected, I don't think we expected it to be easy, but it was a little bit more challenging than I was expecting. So we're going to go and find somewhere to sit and we'll give you our proper thoughts about the journey, any recommendations we might have and our eye review of, of the trip. Not a bad place to be uh, standing on a crisp English morning. So yeah, as you can see, we've uh, kind of perked up a little bit. We stopped off and had a little coffee in Costa and um, yeah we've uh, it turns out Tammy's never been to Cornwall either she thought she had it turns out she's been to Devon South Devon uh. South Devon to be precise so uh, so thank you dad <laughs> yeah we're gonna go and get seated and go and have a closer look at the, uh, at the lovely waves and we'll talk about what we think so what do we think of Flixbus well to be honest there are pros and there are cons to Flixbus. Now, do I think it deserved the rap it gets? From my experience currently, I'd say not. If it gets cancelled later, then yes, I will think it's uh, <laughs> bad service. But are we in Cornwall? Yes. yes. Did the bus arrive on time? Yes. yes. Did we get our allocated seats? Yeah. Yes. So it, it did the things that we asked it to do. The problem lies in the fact that we decided to get a night bus. So. We was planning to sleep on this bus and we couldn't. It was impossible. The leg room we had was minimalistic. I mean, you could, you know, you could barely move. And, and it, weren't, it weren't just us. We were looking around. Everyone else was having the same problem, really. Knees were to the back of the seat. In yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was not, it weren't comfortable at all. But it gets better. So not only was that the case, but also the uh, people in front of you can recline their seats back so if they decide to do that not only have you got limited space in front of you but now you've also got this person reclining and tammy unfortunately got that so this guy decided to come and join us i say join us they like the seats started getting empty people started getting off around about plymouth so we moved into this empty seat in front of us first thing he did recline straight back tammy was in like a sardine can wasn't a good experience for her at all so would i say it's a viable solution for night travel no, absolutely not definitely not. not at all do not travel on the flix bus at night it's if you're planning to sleep anyway if you're a good sleeper and you're a strong sleeper and you can get to sleep for anything yeah give it a go but if you struggle to get comfortable as it is which we do and you know when we're not you know we're not precious or anything we rough it up as much as anybody else we was camping in scotland last week you know it was in a cramped old small tent and we got on just fine on a, on a mat that thin but this was impossible absolutely impossible another issue as well is the air con so the air con barely blows any cold air and that bus gets really hot really hot really humid as well like it's just people's breaths and body heat everywhere and it's almost impossible to get you know relaxed in that kind of environment as well and when the air con does come on it's a temporary relief but then it just starts blowing around hot air obviously they can't help that but sometimes they'll just turn off the aircon for no apparent reason they just yeah. turn it off and people i think there was like a button of us that we can press and the person who was at the front of the bus as well with the driver he came along to see what the problem was and everything and then he used to you know and then he tells the bus driver to turn off the um, aircon on so i've got to say they do they were pretty they tried pretty yeah they did try they? yeah absolutely but um but yeah, as I say, there was a skylight as well, and they closed the skylight. I don't know why. They, don't know why they did that. We that were was brilliant. In line with that. Yeah, could have easily. So nice. Would have been a lot easier to fall asleep. So between the the, the humidity, all the bodies in the bus, the fact that yeah. people can recline in front of you, the fact that there's not much leg room, I would say don't travel at night. Now, yeah. are we going to try and travel again on the Flix bus? Yeah, we probably will, but we're not going to you know do any any more night trips on a flix bus i don't think because yeah, it's just no. impossible to sleep definitely i definitely would recommend a day one and one where there is um 
availability for you to be able to get off. Yes. And stretch your legs. I think that was another problem as well. Yeah, it's got kind a good of point. Kind of getting a cramp. Yeah, you can. Do you know what I mean? You know. They, they, no point. I mean, they didn't. They, they didn't say we couldn't, but no, they didn't like any point say, "Oh, do you want to get off and stretch your legs or go and have a little drink or something?" Or especially like us because we was on it from like midnight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the majority of us were on there from midnight. Yeah. You know, so you know, seven hours, seven and a half hours, nearly eight hours, sat in one place. Yeah. And only able, and I was only able to stretch one leg because I was in the seat aisle. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. It, it was cramped it was very cramped so yeah just uh do your research first um is a seven and a half hour journey possible yes it is, it is. um would we recommend doing it at night definitely not no. um would we say flixbus is the worst company in the world like everyone's saying i disagree with that statement definitely disagree. currently you know it's not the most comfortable it's, it's certainly an economy fair kind of travel you know if you're if you're looking for something like fancy you're not going to get it on flixbus but it's cheap and it does the job how much was it? I can't remember the top of my head. I think it was like 50 quid or something. Yeah, I think but it was like 25 pounds. 25 each quid each, but return. you know, and that's for a 14 hour total journey. I mean, it's not bad. 15 hour, sorry, total 15. journey. Yeah. So, not bad at all. But anyway, we're going to sign off now. And find some to eat. Find some to eat, and we're going to do a little bit of exploration around Cornwall. It's our first time here. So, if you're interested in seeing that video, stay tuned and that'll be up soon. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for joining us and wish us luck on our next travels. I'll see you on the flip side. See you on the flip side.